Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of Dining with Dogs, the show where we attempt to recreate fun foods from TV shows and movies in dog-safe form and see if we can actually get my dogs to eat them. This episode was inspired by Futurama, one of my all-time favorite animated shows. As a longtime Futurama watcher and a bit of an insomniac, I find listening to the calming voices and familiar jokes one of the easiest ways to fall asleep. If you're one of the dozens of other Futurama sleepers, go ahead and leave a comment below. But back to the episode. Today we'll be making our own versions of Bachelor Chow, which is essentially just dog food rebranded for lazy human males. So let's see if we can make a simple, homemade dog food that I can eat with my dogs. Okay, we will be going with a beef, sweet potato, and celery concoction in order to provide the necessary proteins, carbohydrates, and fiber for our pups. Let's start by cooking some top sirloin. We'll be using the sous vide method to cook these today, so I'll go ahead and preheat our water bath to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Note that this is a bit on the high-end temperature-wise for sous vide steaks, but we're going for more of a medium well-done steak since we'll be chopping it into cubes later and don't want it to fall apart. We will very lightly season our steaks with salt and pepper, less than I would typically season since the dogs will be eating this as well. Then, we'll take our steaks and place them in our silicone sous vide bag, making sure to squeeze as much air out of the bags as possible to improve heat transfer and reduce any oxidation of the surface of the steak while cooking. The steaks will take about two hours in the sous vide, so let's move on to the sweet potatoes and celery. Let's preheat our oven to 350 degrees. We are going to start by dicing the sweet potato. You can peel them if you'd like, but I prefer to leave the skins on for some extra texture and flavor. We'll also chop our celery down to a similar size real quick. Now let's place our potatoes and celery on a parchment paper lined baking sheet. Drizzle some olive oil over the top and lightly season with salt and pepper. We will roast these in the oven until they are soft but still hold their shape well. It took my oven around 45 minutes to get them to this point. Now back to our steaks. After cooking the steaks in the sous vide water bath for about two hours, we are ready to sear the outside of them to help build some additional flavor. I typically do this on my grill outside, but the weather has other ideas today, so let's use a cast iron skillet. We'll heat the skillet on medium to high heat for several minutes. Once the skillet is hot, we will drip a few drops of water into it. If the water sizzles and vanishes very quickly after hitting the pan, we know that we're hot enough. We'll then oil our pan with a little bit of olive oil and sear each side of our steaks for around two minutes. Now that we have a nice sear on both sides of the steak, it's important to let the steak rest for a few minutes before we chop it up to help lock in the juices. Okay, now that all of the individual ingredients are ready, we will go ahead and mix them in a large bowl. And the result? Overall, probably not something I would typically eat myself, but as I got used to the texture combination of cube, meat, and sweet potatoes, this is actually pretty good. But let's see what the dogs think. Okay, so Poe clearly loves this one. We're going to give it a full seal of approval from him, but Stella doesn't seem to like the celery all that much. We're going to give it half a Stella seal of approval today. If you enjoyed this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.